Hey folks, Joe here. Time for another quick little YouTube video. Uh, I've been thinking about doing this one for quite a while and I keep putting it off thinking not ready to do it yet, not ready to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it. Uh, for the last, this is 2023, so for the last uh, almost 19 years, say 18, 18 and a half years, ever since I did the canoe trip, the 6,000 kilometer solo canoe trip across much of Canada, six months long trip. This just happens to be the paddle I use for it, the Zavro Whitewater model, all carbon fiber. They were a sponsor of the trip. This thing, very lightweight, 11 ounces, 12 degree bend. They can hold it up there, you see the bend on it a little bit. So 12 degree offset, uh, designed as a racing paddle, uh, good for doing distance. Their actual racing paddles are as light as six and a half ounces. This is their heavy duty version, which is a whopping 11 ounces. Yes, it is very light and it is very strong. This is the paddle I did 99.9% .9 of the 6,000 kilometer canoe trip with, and I've had it ever since. The bent shaft canoe paddles that I make myself, the blade design is based on this shape right here. So it's very similar, just a little bit heavier than this, minor wood, of course, as you know, this is carbon fiber, but I just wanted to bring this out because this video kind of relates to the trip that I did back in 2004, where I launched the Clipper uh, C1 solo canoe, these guys, Clipper, they were also a sponsor, launched the C1 canoe in Kitimat, BC, on the BC coast, and over the course of six months and several portages, I ended up in Montreal, Quebec. And uh, yeah, the first portage, 51 kilometers long, that was starting over the sea level, up and over the coast mountains, over a mountain pass at 3,300 feet of elevation, and then working my way back down to a series of lakes and rivers starting at 2,700 feet of elevation. Lots of snow in the high country, pulling the canoe like a sled. Down in the lower country, especially on the ocean side of all of things, lots of grizzly bear, and yes, I had fun following me for several kilometers. Yeah, that was fun. Anyways, ever since that trip, I've toyed with the idea of doing a book on the trip itself, and a lot of people have urged me to do that. Still hasn't happened. It might happen someday. The other thing I've been thinking of doing is a series of trips across Canada, linking them up with a series of videos, of course, but also uh, kind of putting together a book based on, there, there's a, there was a book put out quite, quite a few years ago on the old fur trade canoe routes of Canada then and now, what kind of what they were like back then and sort of what they are now. That book was put out decades ago and there's nothing really like it that's come along since. And I've toyed with the idea of doing something similar to a lot of the old uh, Voyager fur trade routes, the uh, original trade routes across Canada and uh, linking it up all 10 provinces. Might do some stuff in the territories as well, Northwest Territory, Yukon, maybe none of it. And as many pieces, of the puzzle as I can, piece together a route across Canada, maybe include a couple of options for variations of the route, and put it all together in a book, talk a little bit about the past history of, of these routes, as well as what it's like now, what the portages are like now, including going around numerous hydro dams through major cities, so on and so forth. The project, like I say, has been on my mind for about 18 years, and I'm thinking I might actually do it, not going to start right away, obviously. I'd have to save up a lot of money and get very organized to do it. But uh, that's part of the, what we're trying to do with this YouTube channel is get that to the point where it's going to help fund bigger projects like this. And uh, so a year or two down the road, might start working on this, might even knock off smaller chunks before that, get a lot of the research done, and kind of go from there. Well, that's a big trip idea I've had for many years, and I'm kind of getting the itch to get it going before I get too old to, to actually do it. And uh, so that's one of two major trips that I have in mind. The other is a cycling-related trip that's been on my mind for even longer. I started thinking about it, uh, say, late 2000, so uh, almost 23 years ago. That would have been just shortly after doing a 7,000-kilometer solo bike tour also across much of Canada. Uh, great memories from that one as well, but we'll talk about that another time. Maybe I'll do something on it in the next two or three weeks, knock that off, try to get some stuff done here before the snow is all gone outside and the real riding season is here, paddling season, 
rivers are still frozen, but they're starting to break up soon. Anyways, uh, that's what I'm thinking about. Leave your comments down below on the idea of the uh, book idea on canoe routes then and now. I even have an idea for the name, which has been in my head for many years, but I'm not going to mention that right now. We'll save that for later. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what? It's almost 6 o'clock. And the coffee's almost done. It's my second coffee of the day. I think I'm going to put this away. I think I've had enough coffee. Uh, I think it's time for a colder drink. And uh, have a cold one. I'll be right back. And we'll sign off. Battle now. I'll be right back. Just... And we're back from our quick trip into the kitchen. We got ourselves a cold drink. And it's time to open that up. I'm going to sign off here now. Start editing this video. Put it together. And probably get it out today. If not, it'll be out uh, Monday or Tuesday. Thanks for watching.